Jibuchi, uh, who yeah. is he, he's a professor of, uh, at the Center for IPS Research and Application in Kyoto University, and is actually a biophysicist by training. He's talking about self-organizing maps in 3D tissue reconstruction. Wataru, look forward to your talk. Thank you very much, um, kind introduction. Huh? So uh, my, my name is Wataru Fujibuchi from Kyoto University. So today I'm going to talk about my uh, recent study of uh, uh, self-organization map-based 3D tissue reconstruction method. Okay. So many of you know uh, already know um, we need a, a special transcript form uh, for identifying the, uh, the locations of uh, each uh, cell in our body. And so far, uh, many uh, experimental methods uh, are proposed. However, these methods are uh, all for experimental people. I, I'm a bioinformatician, I can use it. And uh, uh, in addition to that, they are uh, very early in early stage and the uh, cost is high. So um, alternatively, um, our aim is uh, totally different from their approach. So without using these uh, fan fantastic method, uh, we try to somehow reconstruct 3D structures from only uh, SCR and SX data. So uh, in our first project, uh, this is our previous study, okay? Um, we use mass mid gastro embryo, uh, where we obtain the uh, cryo section data, where uh, there are 41 uh, gene expression uh, section, uh, data from uh, 41 section. And we somehow uh, translated uh, uh, this domain structure. Uh, actually, there are four domains, uh, four domains uh, involved. And uh, we translated this uh, topology to a machine readable uh, ones, uh, such as cubic structure in this way. And uh, uh, we applied, we performed the 3D virtual self-organization uh, mapping uh, based on the well-known Cohone mapping uh, strategy. And uh, after we obtained the structure, we checked the, the success rate, okay, by uh, actually uh, confirming the uh, three conditions, uh, which is a, a consistency of the original structure, such as D1 uh, is the opposite of D4, D2 and D3 uh, uh, next to each other, and so on, okay. And uh, the original some clustering method uh, had a problem. Uh, when we applied the, the regular from clustering method, there are actually two steps. Uh, at the first step, uh, we try to find the best matching unit from the learning vector. And at the second step, we need to update the central vector of the maps, okay? However, when we applied this directly, our uh, prediction rate is only 14% due to uh, uh, poor optimization and uh, uh, very fast convergence. So we, uh, Okay, introduced a, a, a stochastic function so that the, uh, the convergence is, is slow, but even older stage uh, can learn more. So um, this uh, actually um, improved our uh, success rate dramatically uh, as a 84%. So uh, using this uh, algorithm, uh, we uh, checked each geo uh, from mouse uh, gene ontology uh, database. And actually we checked the uh, 6,000 uh, uh, goal sets and uh, including uh, 5,000 genes. And we, uh, we tested 100 times and the take average okay, uh, for the success rate. And uh, we also checked uh, the variance of uh, uh, final locations uh, of the each section. And this is a plot and the uh, 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 plot of uh, each geo. Um, and the uh, x-axis is the uh, success rate and y-axis is the variance. And uh, we obviously found a very good uh, geo here, uh, okay? Which shows 84% uh, it is related to morphogenesis. And this is highly significant. And uh, uh, actually my internship uh, student uh, further optimized our method uh, from here. Uh, she uh, generated a, a large combinations of uh, geos and she found at the five combinations of geos, uh, uh, she found a 99% success rate. And the, again, she optimized more and she removed the one, uh, genes one by one. And uh, when, you, when she removed the two genes, uh, success rate 
totally uh, finally attained 100%. Excellent. And uh, this is a list of uh, uh, 5G or best 5 geos giving 100% success rate. Uh, surprisingly, they are all related to morphogenesis or developmental uh, uh, genes. And uh, actually, this uh, uh, five geos contain 18 genes. So we call them as uh, special discriminator genes. And uh, this is a list of uh, those 18 genes in five geos giving 100% success rate. And obviously, uh, many of them are known uh, uh, developmental genes, uh, such as Activin A or Wint, uh, Wint uh, Frizzled Pathway genes. And uh, when we uh, perform the virtual gene knockout, uh, in my computer, uh, deleting the genes one by one. And uh, uh, when we deleted the ID2, ID2 gene, um, the success rate dramatically decreased to only 37%. So, uh, and uh, we also deleted uh, the other genes together with ID2. The, these orange shaded genes are all uh, uh, decreased uh, to uh, 30% success rate. And when we checked these genes uh, by uh, uh, gene knockout database, uh, mice uh, knockout database, and uh, uh, this ID2 is actually homozygous lethal gene. And uh, uh, if I perform the uh, replaced experiments in my computer, so I, when I, I replaced ID2 with a CXCL12, which has a high special correlation with the ID2, but the success rate is still very low, 39%. So we conclude that ID2 is most critical genes uh, in this uh, industrial development. And also we checked the uh, lethality of uh, all other genes. Uh, these orange shaded genes are uh, overlapped uh, well uh, with the homozygous lethal genes. Okay. So we are currently extending our method to more complicated data. Um, such as uh, mouse heart or pancreas. And uh, uh, so uh, the, the, our method was very simple uh, so far. And uh, so we can use a cube structure for this complicated structure. So we now uh, changed our method to use a graph sum based uh, uh, mapping. Okay, so for example, for this heart structure, we have uh, seven domains, uh, a circular. And we again apply the uh, uh, SOM uh, to reconstruct. But this time, uh, in addition to that, we use the more uh, efficient combinatorial optimization of genes. Uh, since this is unpublished data, I cannot talk very much of detail of it. Uh, sorry, but uh, for mass development of heart, we already attained 97% uh, accuracy. And for human development of uh, pancreas, we attained uh, already. 95%, okay? And, uh, and uh, even surprisingly, uh, we, ex we uh, successfully extracted uh, HAND1, HAND2, or other genes which are related to mass development, uh, development of heart, and also insulin-related genes, uh, which are very important for pancreas function. So this is a summary. So in our previous version, uh, Spresso uh, can give us 100% accuracy, and we uh, successfully identified 18 SDGs, special discriminator genes. Now extending to uh, Espresso and uh, giving us uh, uh, still a very high accuracy and uh, successfully identified the important genes for uh, mouse uh, heart and uh, human pancreas. This is acknowledgement. Okay, uh, I thank to all the people who are involved in this research, especially to uh, two young researchers. Uh, one person is even internship student who stayed in my lab only for two months, but she attained 100% accuracy. Very excellent student. And uh, uh, more, uh, one more student is uh, uh, one more researcher is uh, Tomoya. Tomoya is an excellent program holder. Without his effort, uh, we would not have been uh, successful so, uh, as this. Thank you very much. Thank you, Wataru. Uh, that's remarkable, the spatial reconstruction. Thank you. Uh, any questions? OK, we have one question. How is the topological accuracy calculated? Oh, OK, um, where is my?
can you see can you see that okay i don't know how to, how to go we can back. see it yeah 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 uh okay this is the original structure okay uh when i when i translated it to a cubic structure we have a, a still a four, four domains d1 d2 d3 d4 and the d1 should be opposite side so d1 should be opposite side for a d4 and d2 and d3 are connected okay and uh, uh, d1 is a uh, next either d, d d2 or d3 d4 is same okay uh, we described here the condition so if you are satisfied you're satisfied with these three conditions which means you can reconstruct this structure Okay. Uh, I, I see. I had the same question for the for the heart data and pancreas data you had later. Was that also so? so this is some kind of spatial data. Was, yeah. was your, the heart data also spatial data? You mean I, are you talking about heart data or? Yeah, uh, you said mouse heart and human pancreas yes, or yes. something like that. Yes. Yes. Yes, uh, we we use uh, actually uh, known uh, space, special specially structured uh, um, data from nature, and uh, we have we have known answer here. Okay, and okay. we somehow okay. So these structures were micro dissected, and you have transcriptomes from the different uh, sectors. Is that correct? Well, I haven't checked the detail of the paper, but uh, somehow they separated the the domains. Okay. Um, and uh, they take out the uh, uh, cells and they check the transcript on. Got it. Mm. Okay, uh, very nice. I, I think it's a emerging area, reconstructing spatial transcriptomes just from single cell. Thank you so much, Wataru. Thank you very much. Um, uh,